Hello everyone and welcome to another very highly competitive game of Warcraft 3 between none other but a man that doesn't need introduction. The most successful European player ever. Grubby the Grubster. My guy. And he is spawned in the bottom left corner. Of course playing with Orc. Versus... A European player that has been climbing the ranks recently, playing at the highest level, born in the top right corner, of course playing as a human. Leon from Germany, very 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 curious to see this matchup. Uh, When I looked at the Leon's YouTube channel a while ago, just looking for some basic human guides. He had a few videos there, uh, which he made uh, some of the guides from. And in one of the videos I saw, he had a game played against Grubby. He won that game, playing brilliantly. So I'm very interested actually, looking forward to see what's going to happen here. And Archmage opening for Leon. In the other side, Mama and Grubby with a Blade Master into Grunt. No war, uh, war mill yet. So we're probably going to see a quick tier 2 from Grubby. Or maybe first he's going to build a shop. Which you do kind of need probably before you start attacking. When you go for a Blade Master um, gameplay. But here we go. Windwalk. Okay, typical Grubster building the shop. Pretty much in the middle of the base. Uh, which tells me that Grubby is gonna try and be hyper aggressive in this game. Replenishment Potion on the blade, that's very good. Meantime, Leon has already taken the camp out next to his main and now he continues his journey, making his way down nearly to the tavern and here we go. Leon with the sentry ward. So Leon is already trying to scout for the Blade Master. He sees the shop here now. Is Leon going to mess up Grubby's plans for the game? Not, not so quick, says Grubby. He responds with a sentry ward of his own. Oh no, he went for a dust and he detected the sentry ward, sniped it down. But he doesn't know yet that Leon's got another one placed right next to the shop and Leon's gonna take this shop out. Is Grubby replacing the shop already? Yep, he's already thinking of that. Here too, nearly ready and... Let's continue to follow the Blade Master and the Archmage here. Nice deny on the healing from Leon. Leon, as I said earlier, has been making the waves recently within the Warcraft community. Um, he's always been a very good player. A player's forces are under attack. But well, as of late, a lot of people feel like he has improved with a lot. He plays a lot more on the ladder now. As well. Plus taking part in a few tournaments last year.
And overall, Leon is beginning to solidify his presence against the best of the best in the Warcraft scene. Solid game from Leon so far. He buys dust as well. Who's the the camp here? Look, going for the shop. Playmaster steals this, but Leon now knows that Grubby is around, and he he will use that dust of appearance next time. There you go. He's already using it. And Playmaster detected, so there will be no. No surprises anymore. He can take this footy, the Blade Master, if he decides to. Probably he will wait for the detection to expire. And then try and take the footy. But Leon hides the footy. Very nicely played by Leon. Or oh, he's gonna sacrifice it, sending it to Scout. No. Pulling it back again. Another detection from Leon. Blade Master is not around, so you can really enjoy creeping this. MK level 2 now as well. Archmage will get level 3 most likely. Double Arcane Sanction for Leon. Shop on the way. Tier 2 completed for Grubby and Leon as well. And Grubby will go into Raiders and Spirit Walkers. Gonna use that spirit link. PC second. And it looks like that makes sense. Uh, Lin, who is the best of the best when it comes to Orc, he is the guy that invents all the new strategies. Has been playing similar to this uh, with a Different hero choices, I would say. Even Lin is trying to. Leon is. Um, Lin is trying to. A player's forces are under attack. Turn the Shadow Hunter into a first choice, at least. That's what it looks like from the tournament. Um, so far, that I'm talking about the TP League Season 1. See, we'll finish the rest of this camp. Playmaster gonna let all that experience go on the TC. In the meantime, Leon with level 3 MK and Archmage. Sobi Mask on the MK. Info Potion. And Leon has already done armor upgrade on that human army at level 1. No tier 3. I still adapt training on the spirit walkers. I still don't understand why do the orc players all of a sudden stop going for tier 2. Is it this strategy? Someone please with the knowledge explain to me down in the comments. Is that just down on the strategy that they are playing? Meaning that when you go for green uh, grunts with riders, with spirit walkers, you don't necessarily have to go into tier three unless the game goes like down to the wire and it turns into one of those long, long, long games. Spell breakers for Leon. Attack upgrade as well, going at level 1. War meal for Grubby comes up now. So let's see if we're going to see some upgrades for the Orc army too. I wonder if he's got pillages, uh, pillage upgrade on, on the grunts and on the raiders. So Clap from the MK, Stomp from the TC, TC, TC is hard, but the MK doesn't have any more mana anymore, another Stomp 
big, huge, massive stomp from the TC. MK had to use the info potion. B is crow and Grub is going to retreat. Nice around with the militia here on. Okay. Nice around on that raider and Leon managed to kill a raider before Grubby successfully retreated. A player's forces are and Leon's got Spirit Link as well on some of his units. And one of the militia I've noticed had the Spirit Link too. So again, I'm not sure whether that is from a mistake from Grubby with the Spirit uh, Walkers. Or whether Leon used an item, um, a consumable in the game that allows you to get Spirit Link. Again, please be kind to me, guys. Someone with the knowledge of the game. Can you let me know down in the comments about this? And also, I can't say thanks enough to all of you guys that are keep coming back to watching more of my videos subscribing to my channel and liking those videos none of those things are required but i surely appreciate it a lot it means a lot to me and it's a huge help to grow the channel actually And make myself being heard out there. Let the lesser players, let the amateurs got a voice too in the community. <laughs> I'm gonna be speaking for the low MMR players. How about that? Hey? Right? How about some people were upset when the patch note talking started in the community? Some people were upset. Oh players forces are under attack if you if you got a low mmr you can't talk about patches yes i can guess what yes i can because i play the game too and i might have other ideas on the patch notes from a low mmr player perspective you know which actually i would say most players in that's for any game most players are average Joes, you know? Just because some of you that get upset might be like high level player. I'm not gonna bring any names into this now. We know we know what time it is. We know who you are. We know the people. People that complain about this, you guys know who you are, so I'm not gonna name anyone, but you have to think that you a very very important part of of what's happening with War, uh, Warcraft right now but at the same time you are a small portion of the player base as well but when I say this I'm not saying this from a point of view of okay just because you know we are the small percentage of players doesn't yeah, of course. I will actually listen to you more than anyone else. But what I'm trying to say is that you have to understand something that might be good for you or something that you may not feel like you like in a patch note. Doesn't mean necessarily that it's not good overall. Because most players a low MMR players like me, people that are coming back into the game after a long time being away from it, or a brand new players as well. There's a, I don't know what Warcraft is seem to be making a coming back recently. It's doing well of late, and it seems like there's a lot of fair amount of new players picking up the game too, wanting to try it for the first time. And of course, like mid level players, like around around the 12 to 1300 MMR, 1400 MMR. But all these guys 
people have different opinions on the patch notes. And if you watch the interview between Neo and Monk that Neo did uh, on the Back to Warcraft channel, which was a great interview by the way, highly encourage all of you guys to go and watch it if you haven't seen it. And a lot of things they were saying there made a lot of sense. And, um, you know, there's not one answer to it. There's not one definitive answer that solves all the issues and will make everyone happy. Nobody will be happy anyway. The round on the Spirit Walker here with the Militia. That Spirit Walker usually would have been fine. But Leon's got casters. And those casters can deal damage on the Spirit Walkers. Oh, and I am su such a numpty. I understand. It's not a consumable. And it's not a mistake by Grubby. You can't use Spirit Link on your enemy units. What has happened is those Spellbreakers got the control magic. And they are stealing the Spirit Link from the Orc onto the human units, right? Yeah, I'm correct. Oh, that Archmage is nearly dead. But he made the Archmage invisible with the Sorceress. Stun on the Blade Master, so the Archmage lives for now. Oh, huge fight here. Loads of dead units on each side. Oh my goodness. But these breakers are so strong. Spell breakers are such a strong unit in this game. Ridiculous. Now this Black Master is taking a lot of damage here. Saved by Grubby in the last minute. But again, as I said, the spell breakers are such a strong unit, it's ridiculous. Blade Master still. Still nearby. MK took care of the healing ward. Now big clap from the MK as well, responding to the stomp from the PC. And that is it. Grubby, GG, and Leon is winning the game again. Thanks for watching guys. I love you and I'll see you on the next one.